Hello, in this video, I'm going to review how you can use Azure Chat GPT in order to troubleshoot cryptic error messages and tools such as Power BI, SQL Server, Power Apps, and pretty much anything out there that you can think of. My name is Greg Beaumont. I am a cloud solution architect. And if you'd like, you can follow me on LinkedIn and also on Twitter. Now, without spending too much time on this part, let's just quickly review why you might want to use Azure OpenAI for assistance with cryptic error messages. With Azure OpenAI, everything that you do will be contained within your Azure environment. And over on the left-hand side, you have the user interface that uh, allows the user to uh, put in their error messages and then send that to OpenAI and receive a response. That could be a power app, it could be an Azure bot, it could be some type of custom application. There's a lot of different ways to uh, achieve that capability. Uh, but in your own environment, you could also then store all of that back and forth conversation between the user and the OpenAI endpoint. And even though you just started with a standard out of the box GPT endpoint down the road, once you have that information, you could use it in order to do things like embeddings, possibly fine tuning, and uh, use it to customize uh, the responses that users get in the future. Starting off here in the Azure OpenAI chat playground, you can see that I have a deployment for ChatGPT that is using the GPT Turbo model. A very important concept within ChatGPT and within the uh, GPT endpoints in general is prompts. And I'm providing a prompt here, which is basically going to instruct the chatbot with every query that it gets sent that you are an AI chatbot in charge of helping people solve error messages for Microsoft tools such as SQL Server, SharePoint, Teams, and Power BI. Is this the best possible prompt? Probably not, but as you'll see, it's good enough to get the job done. Let's start off with an error code that's listed on a public forum within the Microsoft Power BI community. Uh, everything I'll be using for these examples is available on the public internet. Uh, I want to be clear that I'm not using uh, any data here that can't be uh, found publicly for anybody else to reproduce what's being done. For this particular example, you'll see somebody's asking, what is this error about? The connection is with SQL Server Management Studio, uh, walks through execution timeout expired, along with some additional technical details. Let's just go ahead and copy that text. Now back in the chat playground for Azure OpenAI, let's just go ahead and paste in that text straight from the forum. And let's see what kind of results we get. Immediately, you start seeing a result. And the very first sentence is that this error message indicates that the SQL Server Management Studio was not able to complete the operation because the server did not respond within the specified timeout period. The number one troubleshooting resolution recommendation is to increase the timeout period. Let's go ahead and copy that response and bring it over to a slide. And now we can compare the original text from that forum with the response from Azure Chat GPT. And as you can see on the left, based on that message, somebody who's a troubleshooting expert might be able to figure it out, but the everyday user would probably either start doing an extensive internet search, open an internal company ticket, open a ticket with Microsoft, or put it on a forum as this user did. All of those options cost time and money. Now let's go back to the forum and see what the accepted answer was. Back here in the forum, if we scroll down, one of the accepted answers was to set the timeout option. So perhaps the top recommendation from ChatGPT might have solved the issue. Whether or not this is actually the issue, I don't have time to go recreate the situation and try to test it, but it sounds like ChatGPT started with a recommendation that's similar to uh, what they received on the forum, and the reply would have been undoubtedly faster than you receive on a forum. Let's go to another error that somebody received and posted to the Power BI community. For this one, you can see somebody noted that they received an error payload from Gateway can anybody help with this error? Received error payload from Gateway, service with ID, and then there's a number with it. Back in the Azure Chat GPT chat playground, uh, once again with a prompt uh, that it's an AI chatbot assigned to help with some of these tools, you'll see that pasting in that text directly from the forum generated a response that the error message you provided is quite generic 
and could be related to a variety of Microsoft tools. However, based on the mention of a gateway service, it may be related to Power BI. Correct guess. Then the recommended steps for resolution, noting that that error code means that it was not able to process a request and returned an error. One is check the logs. Two, restart the gateway. Three, check the connection. Four, check the credentials. And five, contact support. Moving back to the forum, let's scroll down and see what the accepted solution was. The accepted solution was that they did a reinstall for the gateway and this solved my problem. Again, looking at the content that was provided from the person who had the error, along with the response from Azure ChatGPT, I think the clarity of what it could possibly be along with the next steps is very impressive. Next up is an error message that was posted to a forum in the Power Apps community. This one reads that I've created a flow called export to Excel and entered on the onSelect property of a command button, followed by some code. Then it provides some information about the issue and summarizes by stating that the JSON function cannot serialize tables or objects with a nested property called attachments of type table attachment. So let's go ahead and paste that one in and see what it says. And as you can see here, I went ahead and literally just pasted it in. I didn't clean up the text at all. The chat playground was able to clean that up and still provide a nice, clean, readable answer. And you'll see it notes that the error message indicates that there's an issue with the JSON serialization of the new collection. Specifically, the error is being caused by the attachment column in your collection, which is of type table attachment. The number one suggestion is to remove the attachment column from the new collection. Number two is to flatten the attachment column. Number three is to change the data type. And number four is to use a different export method. So let's go back to the forum and see if there's a accepted solution. Back in the forum, the accepted solution was to leave out that column via the following adjustment. So again, whether or not this would have actually solved the issue for the user, you don't know until you see it out in the real world. But the number one recommendation was to remove that attachment column, which is effectively what the accepted solution did. Next, we'll move to another Microsoft forum with a question that was posted about a SQL Server database engine. You can see that the user puts the query that they're running uh, into the forum and then notes that uh, it's showing an error, uh, 9001, and uh, provide some information about the procedure, delete new section, line nine. Let's go ahead and copy that, run it in ChatGPT, and see what it recommends. So as you can see here in the Azure Chat Playground, we have the exact same message from that forum pasted in, and the recommendation is that the error message you're receiving indicates that a fatal error occurred in SQL Server while executing the stored procedure, delete new section. That's a serious error that indicates a problem with the SQL Server database engine and the troubleshooting steps it recommends are check the logs, check the hardware, check the database, restart SQL Server, and contact support as a last resort option. Moving back to the forum, let's scroll down and see what the answer was. Looks like the database logs file was full and restarting things fix the problem. Now again, looking from the message that was posted into the forum on the left and comparing it to the suggestions from ChatGPT and Azure on the right, you will see that suggestion number four, restart SQL Server, is what the accepted answer claims ended up working to solve the issue. One last example here, moving back to the forum in the Microsoft Power BI community. This one is for a data gateway mashup error. And the user is claiming that when I am refreshing the data source manually on Power BI service, I am facing the below error. Can someone help me out on this, please? And then a very cryptic error message is provided, which somebody in support might understand right away, but uh, to the average everyday user, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let's go ahead and put it into ChatGPT and see what we get for a recommendation. So you can see having entered that information from the forum verbatim into the Azure Chat Playground it provides a recommendation that the error message you are receiving indicates there's an issue with data being parsed as a data value in Power BI. Specifically, the error message indicates that, that the input value WE12022022 could not be parsed as a date value. 
The recommended steps are check the data source, verify that the data source is correctly formatted and does not contain any invalid date values. And looking at that value, you can see that it is preceded by WE1202-2022, uh, which to me immediately looks a little bit suspicious that that might be difficult to convert into a date value. The second item is to check the date format, which is in line with that suspicion. Check the data types, check the gateway, verify the query. Taking a look at both the original post with the error code and the suggested steps for resolution, the Azure ChatGPT response gives some very clear, concise, and reasonable steps that could potentially resolve the issue. Moving back to the forum, the accepted solution is that it's a data format error, which could potentially be discovered by the first couple of steps recommended by Azure ChatGPT. Uh, we don't know if in fact that was the actual error, but it seems like a reasonable place to start that could potentially save some time and effort on the troubleshooting front. In summary, there's nothing fancy here. This is very easy to use, very easy to test, very easy to set up. If you do also want to see some examples of how to build these calls in using code, there's actually a view code example uh, right in the chat playground. Uh, default here is Python. You could switch it over to JSON. Uh, there's C sharp examples and curl examples. And if we move back to the slide I showed earlier, once again, this gives you an opportunity to quickly and easily set up a way to speed up error message resolution, especially those hard to solve error messages. Uh, if this particular uh, application doesn't do it for you, you can still take the traditional route of doing an internet search, opening a ticket, uh, whether it be internal or with Microsoft, that type of activity. Uh, but hopefully uh, with a very low level of effort, you can accelerate the productivity uh, of either yourself or the teams that you work with. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If there's content that you'd like to see more of or less of, please add it to the comments. Any and all advice is appreciated.